Hey guys, it's Cross. Welcome back, everybody, to Surviving Mars. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you do enjoy, make sure you smack the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the game. And only a few days until release, the 15th of March. So make sure you peel your ears and sharpen your eyes because this game is definitely awesome, all right? And ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Today's the day this colony is going to be self-sustained. I promise you. No, I don't. <laughs> Never promise anything. But I'm hoping it will, all right? Because something got researched in between the episodes. And that was this, the deep metal extraction. So the great scheme of plans is this, right? Get a crap ton of the goodies, send them back to Earth, sell them, and then outsource all the research and get everything we want in a very quick time period that is the plan okay is that a plan for success are we dressed for success i'm hope we are so what are we currently doing we're doing the nuclear fusion well i guess that is epka and then we're gonna have the fuel extractors which is just great for us and water conservation you know what i don't think we need that like, we will, but not for now. You know, let's just remove that temporarily. The way structure, I won't have that, but let's wait with that as well, okay? Let's have those as two main priorities, and then we're going to go down to the break for category. We're going to do this, the Inspiring Architecture, which is a colonist in domes with Aspire, have increased morale. Woo! That's something we really want, right? Because we don't want any, any snappy types in there. Uh, domes cost 50% less basic resources. Not that fun. This is, nah, not now. Nocturnal adaptation, something I really want as well, but let's wait with that. Okay, let's start with those three. And once those are done, we're gonna make up my, my, my mind or our minds where to go next. However, this would be kind of good. Martian born at a, at a bit, 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 I mean, that is amazing. Because you know what? Look at this. If I would go into my people's category, we currently have three thirds of all the people on the planet are Martian born. And they're idiots. So if we can make them smart, we're just gonna make this place this great, hopefully. So let's have it like this. And by the way, which uh, domes don't Sector have a spire? Scanned. We don't have a spire here, and we don't have a spire in the elderly community, which is actually pretty thriving. I think it's thriving. Like, look at those guys. They're just chilling, relaxing in the park. Like, I mean, they've dedicated their whole life to this community or this colony, and now it's their time to just do nothing, hang out and chill. Okay, their casino is broken, so they might be a little bit peed off, but uh, on the other hand, we will kind of repair that, hopefully, eventually. I don't know. And this dome has... Oh, look at this. I didn't know that. Copernicus. What is this called? I don't know who Vaginer is. That's not the manager of Arsenal, though, isn't it? But this, however, is Copernicus. I think that is from... Uh, uh, what is it called? Mikhail Copernic, the Polish uh, mathematician and astronomer. We kind of made up that uh, that the Earth is the center point of the universe, not the Earth, as people thought back in the days. That is kind of cool. I'm going to keep that. And I'm not a big Arsenal fan. I don't think it's the Arsenal manager now, is it? But it doesn't matter. You know what? Let's just keep it. But in this, meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I'm going to do Aspire. And I'm going to do this. You might be like, Kiraz, that's going to look ridiculous. And hands down, you're absolutely correct. It's going to look a little bit silly. But the plan is here. Since this here is going to be working three shifts from now on, and look at this, all those people in here are engineers. How amazing is that? So I mean, this is actually fully functional and I'm, I'm happy with it. So what I'm thinking the plan would be, we would need more people to this, right? But we only have inside of this 42 accommodations. So I'm hoping like if we build this big skyscraper, that means more people will arrive to this university, get their education and then move out to their, well, the dome, which kind of requires their skill uh, plan. I think so. And let's continue. But let me see here. We're working three shifts on this guy, two shifts on this guy. That's perfect. Do you have the upgrades? Yes, you do. But now, the beauty of it. Oh, by the way, this is something you guys told me about. Uh, I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know, but I didn't think about it, okay? This is this, that we can unpin stuff from this menu, because there, this is getting a little bit out of control. So I'm going to unpin a few of those stuff, because I, I don't need to see the, the drone hubs. I know where they are on the map. I think I know where they are on the map. So let's not worry about that. And those celebrities... I'm not really like big fan fan of them. Like, they're amazing. But but no, let's have, have let's have the domes and the rockets. That should be enough for us, right? Perfect. And now let's get to it. I want to build the rare metal extractor just on this here in between. Where is the door entrance? It's here. It doesn't matter, Cross. It does. In my books, it does. So should we? I think we should. Hopefully, the people will kind of split in between the buildings and whatnot. And there's going to be a lot of rare metals and. Today's episode is going to be a little bit of a grind, okay? But at the end of the episode, we should be having quite a bit of everything, and even maybe this in the hundreds. 
That's the plan. Oh, the hope, okay? This colony is built on dreams, everybody. And it looks amazing. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, it is, it's pretty nice, okay? By the way, this over here, how do we do? Uh, dude, you need to be working free shifts and even amplification bonus on this. Because I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit of a problem in today's episode, mainly because we're going to run out of the metals within the community itself. Like, we're going to have metals in the far outposts, but um, the transportation is going to be a little bit of an overkill. So let's zoom out. We're currently doing some some uh, searching in those little sectors over here. Like it's kind of kind of crappy. Just just like I hate this ridge so much. Like there was nothing going to be anything in it, but we still need to research that for the for the for the milestone. So that kind of sucks. But let's zoom in. So what do we do? That is a deep mine. That is a deep mine. That is a deep mine, and that is a deep mine. So what I'm going to start with, just to get the most benefit of the cash, or the best beneficial way, would be to get those um, those extractors up and running to begin with. Because that's going to be cash from Earth, and then we can just buy all the necessary resources. Because I think, like, if you would go for the metal extractor, that was going to require machine parts. And as you guys saw, we didn't really have much of that. So I can just maybe pre-plan them like this. But let's wait with building them, for the moment at least. And I'm thinking, like... What is happening? Why are you not delivering one electronics? It's not 10, it's not 20, it's one! And yes, my voice is still pretty bad, but I'm doing my best, okay? I'm losing my Ned voice a little Smith bit. from Netsky. Yikes! Just no. sent us a letter of apology. He seems more worried about our reaction than anything else. Oh no, Ned! Ned Smith! I, that sounds, I don't know, that sounds familiar. Commander, I want to apologize about the glitch in number six communication UI disturbing your privacy. We ran through uh, diagnostics and removed the problem, or thorough diagnostics and removed the problem. Now, com no contamination in the colony system was detected. The project continues to work in the contained environment of the node. Now for the good news. We applied the first stock market predictions for number six and the commercial results were stunning. Please find the invoice with your share of the profits below. I hope it will help you realize the possibilities and omit the accident from your monthly report. 500 million! Apology accepted. I can't really choose anything else now, can I? This is only like, yay, okay, thank you for the money. Give me the bribe or nothing. Okay, I guess. <laughs> I, I, you know what? This is going to be our death. That, that, uh, that machine or that uh, number six is going to be our death of the colony. How are we doing over here, by the way? Okay, load that fully, send it back to Earth. We're going to bring Cable back some, some temporarily needed materials. Yeah, I'm just thinking about this. Come on, build it up. Like, it's such a big priority. You know what we're going to do? Gonna do this. We're gonna move this guy a little bit south. You come here, sir. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. Uh pre-planning for this for the future. We're gonna build a shuttle hub here. Cause thinking of it now, okay, if we have we a shuttle have a power shortage. Lady, no, 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 lady, no, not now. That's a deep mine, right? 2600 metals. Deep mine, 2000, 2200, and 2500 metals again. There's gonna be a lot of metals. This 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 little like outpost is gonna be living for quite a bit of time so what if we just do i don't know maybe just a little thing like this for example and then have a shuttle hub here on the far end it's gonna take a while until like this is fully up and and functional but then we can have six shuttles going all the way through to the main colony base with all the resources which are going to be gathered instead of having like the the transporters which are don't don't get me wrong they're kind of cool as well but i love the shuttles i love seeing them just flying about all over the place so okay so that should be done let's move to this zone over here and how are we doing this uh, this is going to be working three shifts it's amplified already and deep metal and deep metals mine here as well so right pre-plan let's just poop it down yeah, the problem with those is they cost a faucet it's the machine parts right and i don't really have much of them but pre-planning doesn't cost right or does it no it doesn't and over here, pretty much the same, right? Uh, we have this over here, working three shifts, and then just extend the power cable. Like, the multitasking in this game is just ridiculous. But I don't know, it's kind of cool, like... I guess maybe it's, maybe we choose the easy route. I think we have a... Uh, what, what did we have? We have, uh, let me see here, where do you see that even? Is it when you go back to Earth? It is, right? Difficulty bonus of 190, which is not that difficult. I think that the, I think it's like 500, which is max, or 490. It's somewhere between 490 and 500, which is the, like the max difficulty in the game. Which is, well, it's much higher than this. But then again, for a YouTube series, 
I don't know. I don't know. Because it's going to be a lot of wait time just for us sitting waiting for resources to arrive, being mined and stuff and whatnot. So I'm not sure about that. But so far I'm having a, a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Because this is a definitely fun. And how are we doing over here? Yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay, this is going to be built up. And I'm thinking, what do we want to have here? Like, like, a wise choice for us to have is would be to move the science lab or have a secondary science lab in this, well, uh, this one as well. Because we do have this, are low. the science institute, right? So if I would build a science lab here, we will get a little, like, penalty that we have, like, a few of those. But it's going to take benefit of this big spire in the middle as well. So let's just put it down here in the back stages. You know, I'm going to be a good guy. A nursery just because we can. And maybe, uh, not a school, but a playground for the kiddies. And that's your bid. We have Casino. That's going to be the Electronics Factory build up. And not too shabby. Electronics Machine Parts on the low side. I know, lady. Resources However, are you know what? Let's do this. Uh, let's shoot this up anyhow. It's 21 out of 30, but we did get the 500 from uh, Ned Smith, right? So we still have 700 million on Earth to, to make use of. And start loading those ships around here. Yeah, the multitasking is, is, is crazy in this game. But at the end of the day, it's so enjoyable. And how far are we off from the nuclear fusion reactor? We're halfway there. Yeah, that's going to take a while. And now we're doing it on the power in general, by the way. We have a surplus doing the, the, day, the day shift. But night shift is a little bit horrible. It's, I think, like 200 million negatives. So I guess... You might be don't. I mean, like, yes. Let's get a few extra of those guys in here. How many can we squeeze in? Okay, that's going to be killing people, right? Because, I mean, it's not really, like, ideal. Okay, let's just... Let's make it pretty. Let's make it amazing. And let's just speed up the game a little bit as well. So that's going to be six. So maybe let's... How many do we want to add? Okay, let's not speed it up because it's getting a little bit of freemy here with all those uh, wind turbines, I guess. Uh, we're going to have... We're going to add one more row, which is going to be, I guess, 18 in total, which means uh, that should be, if my calculations are correct, 18 wind turbines, I think that's 6.8 each without the, 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 the upgrade. That's 122 point something. And if we upgrade those Cable 18, that should be 144 extra power, which should keep us sustained almost during night time. However, we will go nuclear very, very soon. But I, I don't care. I mean, we're going to be expanding the communities. We're going to need those anyhow at the end of the day. And those people are like, hey, we don't have any power. Yes, I know. It's, I'm a terrible person. Don't know how to save now. It's not much I can do. Just have to deal with it, I guess. Okay, speed it up. Go down Cable here. How are reported. we doing? Oh, thank goodness. This is fully operational, up and running. That's amazing. Uh, free shift. Amplification. Build that ASAP. We just need one more machine part, and that is going to be constructed. This needs quite a bit of stuff, all right? So let that be for the moment. And also, by the way, if I just go back to base for a little moment, how are we doing on uh, the drone assembler? We have uh, six prefabs of drones to our disposal. So let's move here, and let's uh, apply them to this. There's going to be 24 drones in that, because the, 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 the load is pretty heavy. We're going to be building quite a bit around this, this sector now, aren't we? So... It's going to be much needed. I like this. Say what you want. It's a fantastic game. It is a fantastic game. Uh, man, come on, hurry up. I just want to outsource everything now, but I don't think that is possible. How are we doing in the loading of this? One out of 30, two out of 30. It's going to, it's going to take a while. It's uh, definitely going to take a while. We need to hurry up because we need to get this up and running because that will be kind of fabulous. Also, what I'm thinking about... Do I talk a lot? I think I talk a lot. It would be kind of boring if I didn't talk a lot. Uh, but but uh, what I was thinking, maybe we could make like a little small dome and maybe just have a machine part factory and the basic needs for it around that. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cool. Holy crap. Did you see the slam dunk? By whom? The Jordan? What's this? Spirit oxygen. Oxygen. Holy crap. Man, that was incredible. Spirit for the way? What does she do? Is she a Dalton, huh? She's a drone assembler. Not too shabby. Now, I, I just love games. Like, every single game which just has, like, people involving in it. Like, a small, like, AI people over the place. I love inspecting them. Their daily routines and whatnot. 
It is it is beautiful. Yeah, should we start free shifts on a school? I think we should. This is filled up, yes. I think the nursery here reported. it's not it's not gonna be bad for us. Lady, not now. We have bigger problems. Do, do we? No, we have no problems. Everything is fantastic, besides mach electronics and machine parts. But they are en route from Earth. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Huh. This is kind of like my touchdown zone, so I don't want to interfere with that. Like, he would be ideal to have a, have a like, small dome. But now we have uh, the dumping sites. Let me just see here. If I would salvage those... Can we build on top of that, or is it required to have the drones removing every single uh, pile of, of rubble before that happens. We'll see. Let's build a basic dome. And uh, we can't... We, well, we could. It's actually possible. Alright, so if I were to move... Don't worry. We will research that. So all those beautiful rocks here, which is not really that beautiful, they're gonna become concrete uh, eventually. Put it down? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Or maybe even closer. Then we can maybe have a... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's just do this. Perfect. Done. It's gonna be a small dome. We pretty much just gonna have like a machine. Uh, what do you call them? You call them the machine part factory over here, and maybe some just random bits and pieces. Not really sure what to include here, by the way. Let me see. Do the drones? Oh yeah, they're gonna be working over time. <laughs> be removing all those rocks. And where do you go with the rocks? That is a great question. What do you do with the rocks? Seems like they're totally removing them. <laughs> it's just nuts. Okay, maybe the maybe the the the, the dome location was well, not the best location. Okay, but uh, it's gonna work. Hopefully, it's gonna work. I guess we could just add some dumping sites until until we are fully operational with 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 the rock the disposal service. I can't wait for that. You have no idea how I'm waiting for that. Just to get rid of all those ugly dirt piles all over the place. There we go. Now you just move them to there. Just shuffle them around and everything's going to be awesome. Okay, this is going to be, going to be constructed. So now we're currently lacking 100. And I think there's, there's a power shield which is 100 per hour. Which means we do have 2800 store. So we should be able to sustain ourselves 28 hours on, on just the battery power we've got going. But, uh, you know what? We've got some parts arriving from Earth. Touchdown. In 10. Minus. Or T. Minus 10. 9. You need to fill them up quicker. Come on, guys. You can do it. Because I want to get building. I want to get stuff to get built. This is up and running. Free shifts. Amplification. And as soon as this is researched, we're going to research this, which is the fuel extractor. And that's going to be even... Even even better because then we can fuel them and get even a 30 uh, percent bonus to that I can just imagine i can just see dollar dollar bills in my eyes here in this like i mean there's a lot of expression going on right but what we could do here as well Sector is scanned is temporarily add this um i'm thinking i oh, just do it here we do have this water source right so what we could do is make use of the water and make some fuel with it. Because we're going to require fuel both for the sh shuttles over here, right? We're going to be requiring fuel for this, the, the fuel amplification, which is going to be added very shortly. So having a little, like, uh, how much is that? <laughs> 500k. <laughs> okay, that's going to last us for absolutely forever. No, no, not forever, but it's going to last us for quite a bit of time. So get this going over here, and then maybe just having... Um, not technically sure we need more Resources than... Uh, are low. Sure, we need more than one, but uh, let's get one up and running. So there's going to be pumping fuel, it's going to go into this guy, and that guy's going to make some fuel, and every, everybody's going to live happily ever after. Pipes. Zoom, and boom. Yeah, 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 that's going to absolutely work. And then we can just have a, like a fuel depot, um, or depot, just here in the middle. Okay, fuel, 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 let's just put it down here. And uh, everybody else, everybody around here should take take use of it. Lady, not 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 now. Oh 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 no, lady, that's amazing. That is researched. Uh, that's amazing. So fuel extractor is up next. But let's try it. Let's try it out. I'm gonna place it here somewhere in the middle, 
just to try it out, because, because we get the most people here. The fusion reactor generates significant amount of power, but requires workers from nearby dome or domes. So if I would place it, can we? Yeah, we can even place it here, maybe. So that's going to take benefit of workers from all the free domes around. Problem with this is going to be, it's going to produce power, which is amazing. We need power, right? Kenna. But it's going to, it's going to require workers. And I'm not really that a big fan of giving up my, my peeps. Uh, let's just do a little like thing up here, I guess. Because that means we're going to be sacrificing more people to this little facility, which is going to produce power. The beauty of those guys over here, they work without any workforce, right? So, I mean, it's kind of beautiful. They might not look beautiful, but uh, they work as intended. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just going to stand over here. I'm just going to wait until those rockets are fully fuel filled up with fuel, which they are, and then just all the goodies. I'm going to send them up all three at once. Speed up and pray for the best. And ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. We have 30 out of 30, 30 out of 30, and 30 out of 30. So before, you know what, before we do this, let's just do this. Let's just shoot them up a little bit like you did. And one thing I wish I want to go to, I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to go over here because this is built up. And now I'm thinking, I haven't checked it out yet. So 114 on three shifts and a crap ton of workers. It's not really filled up yet. Okay, it does produce quite a bit, but it does require workforce. For the future, if we have like super many surplus uh, people around, no problem whatsoever. But let's let's do this for the moment. Let's do... Let's have like four per shift, maybe? That's still 62 in power. How much is that? 50? Okay, 50. So free workers on free shifts just for the moment so we can kind of like make use of all that personnel to those buildings around here because we are lacking some uh, people in the diners and whatnot. But that is not too shabby. And now let's get back to it. Resume. Oh, you know what can we do? Okay, let them, let me, let them just close the door. I'm running. We can do uh, the photo mode. Just seeing this. Okay, stop it, girls. Stop it. Escape. Photo mode. Uh, toggle UI. Resume the gameplay. Just to hide all the, the UI around this. That is just incredible. No, that one is kind of like a little bit delayed. Why are you being a late bloomer? Come on. It would be so amazing having all the free going on at once. But no, you decided to be like, hey, I'm going to be a late bloomer. <laughs> well, it is what it is. The orca whale is heading. To Earth, and oh yeah, by the by the way, this photo photo uh, mode type of dealio is absolutely amazing. Like you can tweak like a lot of exposure and stuff. You can tweak the the focus and whatnot. You can uh, you can do defocus. You can see the, the distance here. How amazing doesn't that look? Field of view can be tweaked as well. For example, like just you can get like all those like amazing amazing screenshots in. Okay, so that was kind of neat. Uh, what is happening? Did we pause the game? Yes, we did. So those gonna go back to Earth. Are we gonna, we're gonna send two back with people and one with some basic resources. And like I mean, at the end of the day, everybody, we are self-sustained. We are already. Like look at that polymers. I haven't done anything. Just sped up the game for a, for a few days, and they, they do produce, and everything is just working out. But just to speed up uh, things, we will. Why are you guys just hovering about, by the way? Okay, is that kind of like how the AI is going to take over the planet? Uh, not sure what is happening. Maybe they're just waiting for other people's dock. It's kind of like a docking queue or some type. Let's speed this up. What is going to happen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. They were waiting for another craft to arrive. And, and stuff is what's happening. I also built a secondary, one of those, or secondary. I built another moxie over here. Just we don't run out of oxygen. Abruptly. We're gonna have a few extra here on that side uh, eventually in the future. But let's go down to here. How are we doing? Okay, depleted. Uh, and how much concrete do we have? We have 365. Okay, you know, no, dude. You're gonna be... You're gonna be salvaged. And uh, this one, eventually, well, we put them up all at once, right? So this is going to be run out, running out anytime as well. So let's just demolish that, demolish this, and demolish that. I'm going to kind of move them just upwards a little bit. Just a titty titty bit. This is fully operational. We're working three shifts, 6.1. What is the grade on this? Very high. 
I see, I see. And, uh, this guy has 4.4 on a grade which is average. Not bad. And how are we doing here? This is build up. Yes. Cha-ching. Queue up three extra guys. But this is depleted. You know what? I'm not going to even replace that. Even though maybe. I mean, it does hold quite a bit of uh, concrete. But then again, what would we really get here? Would we send people out here to get concrete? Kind of feels a little bit unnecessary. But you never know in this game, okay? You never know. You, you might need that. So I guess we can just tweak it and move it a little bit. Put it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then <laughs> this is going to be all dusty and clogged up. And it's going to require quite a bit of maintenance. And this costs, what? Electronics to, to upkeep. Hey, it is what it is. How are we doing here? Full priority. How are we doing on this? Full priority. And do we have the fuel depot set up? Uh, we had one. Okay, it's kind of empty at this stage. But don't fear, dear people, because stuff will happen. Okay, this is going to be tweaked. Those are going to be built up. Perfect. And let's just jump to this little outpost. This is built up. Three shifts, please. And uh, amplify. No, it's not needed, really. Three shifts already. And 14 metal. Oh, this is awesome. All right. Oh, yeah, we forgot about that, right? We don't have any dump sites over here. So let's make some, uh, some temporary dump sites until we can make concrete out of it instead. But... Uh, Sector scanned. We need that. Let's make a nice shape out of it. You might be like, why? Because we can make a little pyramid. An upside down pyramid. Now it's a pyramid. It's amazing. Uh, let me see here. Sector scan, which did you scan? It's like, it's like literally nothing around here. Like nothing. Oh, it's terrible. And this dome is up as well. Should we, should we start applying stuff to it? I guess we could. We could slowly start building stuff up. So we're gonna have, obviously, power connection, air connection, and then we're gonna put in some stuff in this guy. We're gonna put it in the... Oh no, we can't! We can't put it in the machine factory because we haven't really reached the tech yet. hi yay hi ba That was bad, but... Uh, okay, cargo rocket. What did we lack, by the way? Okay, they're not there yet. I'm like, I'm going to take rockets. Uh, machine parts would be a thing, right? Maybe a little bit of electronics, Funding and that's about received. it. Spank you, lady. Spank you. And then Late Bloomer has arrived as well. Okay. So we have 2.2 million. So let's do this. We're going to have a prefab machine uh, factory building until we research the tech. This is just, I mean, this is just 400 million, so it's not that much. Then we're going to have machine parts. Some electronics like this. Should that be enough? Yeah, and then for the rest of it, we're just gonna outsource. So 2020, thumbs up, yes. And then, and then, no, and then, passenger rockets. We still would need quite a bit of botanists, engineers, botanists, engineers, scientists in masses. No, 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 any geologists, because, okay, maybe some medics here and there, I guess. Because, I mean, everything is AI-operated when it comes to mines. Well, almost everything. Engineers, engineer, botanist, scientist. That's 12 of 12. Launch up in space. I didn't even check the, the stats of those people. It might be like horrible people. Horrible individuals coming up here. But, uh, no, like, I mean, come on. Look at this. Emily. She's a girl. She's a girl. She's a girl gamer. She's amazing. Put her on the ship. Now. Uh, middle age. Whiner. Okay. Like, for this, for example. He's, he's got a chronic condition. He's just going to lose health each day. That is not beneficial for the community. Gamer sexy and lazy. Bertha. Big Bertha. Welcome. You're going to be a botanist. Uh, botanists. Scientists. So free rock is on the way back. And now what we could do is just go into research and outsource. Um, yeah, let's do that. Do we need to do it like... Okay, let me just do this, 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 and this. Which means currently we have 2,400 research points on a daily basis. And like, I mean, we're not even fully operational over here. Like this over here is not fully operational, as you can see. This is not operational because we don't have any people for it, but we can do the upgrades on this guy, I guess. This is not operational, but it will be. Resources are low. We just need peeps to come here. And then everything should be randy dandy. And kind of perfect, I guess. It's just, it's just so cool seeing your colony growing. We have 389 people, and I mean, we haven't accepted any any people from Earth yet in today's episode, no, have we? Which means it's just the babies. We are pooping out babies like there was, there was no tomorrow, and it's awesome. Okay, we can maybe start planning this a little bit. Let's turn this guy on. What are we going to have here? Cable We're going to have reported. 
a lady. No, 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 no. Um, we're gonna have obviously a machine factory. We will have some accommodations. Uh, but what do we want to have? Apartments? Should we go for smart complexes? It's gonna look pretty darn amazing having those guys. But they don't really hold much people, now do they? And uh, the machine factory requires quite a bit of peeps to be operating. Okay, let's just do an apartment. We can compensate the terrible apartments with something else inside of the inside of the domes, I think. Why do you, why don't you tweak to become a there we go. There's one of those balconies. All right. So we are going to have this, this, and this over here. So we're going to have two apartments. There's 48 people. We're going to have the machine factory here in the middle. And then, as you can see, we still have quite a bit of spare, like spare room. We don't have to make use of it. Like it's not needed. We can just keep it as it is and have something else for the later stages. Let's just keep the, the space. But for some reason, something is telling me I just want to use it. With a diner. Cable fault reported. And uh, infirmary, why not? We use this combo on every single one. And it's proven to be quite nice. Let's have a little like Resources thing of that. Yeah, yeah, lady, don't 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 worry about stuff. We have oh, we have actually three rockets to touch down. So this comes with some let me see, which one is there we go. Machine parts and uh, stuff. So let's put it down just around here, or maybe just here. Boom. And then the people's rockets. Yeah, I kind of thought I'm going to have those two slots for that. But that means they might choose the wrong domes. How is the reach on this guy? Fairly darn amazing. So, touchdown on Uno rocket. It's going to be just outside the dome uh, here. And that one is going to be just next to it here. Perfect. Picture perfect. And they should be able to be refueled and uh, packed with stuff and go back to Earth again to get some some more cash, I guess. But I'm eager to see how much our resource points are going to boost up here or jump up here. Because currently we have 2,200. And what are we currently researching? The fueled robotics, which is going to be done very soon. Then we're going to inspire an architecture, the Martian Borton thingy. And has something unlocked during the course of the day? Actually, it has. Fusion, blah, 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 research amplification. This has been the microfusion. Artificial sun. Produces colossal amounts of power. It provides light for nearby solar panels during the dark hours and heats the surrounding area. Consumes a vast amount of water on a startup. Can you imagine having this guy in the middle of our solar farm? Oh, amazing. And this, interplanetary astronomy. Wonder. It's a wonder. Omega telescope. 400 concrete, 300 metals, and 300 electronics gives access to new breakthrough technologies and boosts over our overall research. I want one of those because I don't have one of those. But let's wait with that. And the rest, I bet you, has been here for quite a bit of time. I still want to have the hanging gardens, like for, for the old people, like the sanatorium. That's not the sanatorium. Where is the sanatorium? Here it is. Like for the old people, they would love stuff like this, right? Trees colonies to remove flaws. No, maybe not. Maybe that's not for them, I guess. But, um, you know what, let's do that. Let's queue up this as well. The Gravity Engineering, which is going to be the Megadome. I want to see how that looks. We have so much left to research. And I'm a little bit like a, like stupid because we could have been doing stuff here as well, in a social. It would be great for us because, I mean, 10% performance work during, in the speciality. It's great skills. It's only 2,000 points as well. Okay, let's start down here as well. We're going to be a little bit all over the place. But now, the people, the faces, are about to touch down. No, lady. Nothing's low. And here they come. 24 beautiful souls with tons of flaws and beautiful perks. New colonists have arrived. They can be like to all over the place. Somebody's going over here. Somebody's going over here. That's awesome. But hopefully we can fuel those guys up and send them back as soon as we can. Yeah, then, like, you need to work. Somebody needs to work in the diner. That's kind of, like, very crucial for us. The bar? Yeah. Free shifts on the bar. Free shifts on the casino. Just because we can. Yeah, this is going to take a while until we can get balance, balance out the people. But we have 409 people at the current stage. What is needed over here? Okay, can you please repair the infirmary? This is for the old people. And who's working? What? Okay, we need medics, I guess. Because now I think we have geologists working and engineers working in, uh, on people. Which is technically not bad. They are full skilled in some way. But uh, 
in other ways is very bad. But also that means that this has arrived. Perfect. Poop it down. Cable fault reported. The fuel extractors. What this does, it boosts the production by 30% as long as this building is provided with fuel. So yes, please on this. Yes, please on that. The metals. It's not so needed. I mean, we can't export it. I'd rather have just a prioritization on the exports. Fuel it. However, this doesn't have any fuel depot, so let's just add one temporarily. Do we have any water source, by the way? Yes, we do. So we can make. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sector scan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's do the same over here. Let's just take this out to about here. And we're going to have like a little bit of a fuel production here. Should we? Maybe not needed, however. Now, it's going to be unnecessary because look at that. The resource in this deposit is just 274 remaining. So making all of this is going to be like just a waste because... Well, we could use them for the deep metal mines, but hey, we're not in a hurry. I mean, they still produce 40 on a daily basis, both of them. No, maybe not this guy because of reasons. Oh, the grade, right? Low grade and and very high grade. Okay, so it's 8 plus 12 or 14. That's 22 metals on a daily basis. That should be enough for us. Okay, that's going to be done. And over here, those guys have been removed. All right, so let's do this. Let's concrete extractors. A perfect power cable. There we go. So you guys build them up, get some more concrete out of it. And how are we doing here? Fueled and fueled. And what goes for the little like depot? I'm gonna place a fuel depot just off here. Oh, that's gonna be no. You know what? Let's place a fuel depot because of that guy because that's gonna be here for quite a bit of time. And this one is gonna be depleted eventually. But man, can we can we produce uh, rare metals now? Yes, indeed. And we're not even done. There's so much left of the, the map. I see, and we haven't even deep penetrated it. Just imagine if that happens. Who's this guy? Or lady? Lorette Weber. Saint, religious, and enthusiast. Perfect. Unpin. Oh, base with base. What are we needing over here to repair metals? It's a little bit of a headache, I guess. This is going to be researched in two days. The mega doll. I repeat. And then we can have this in three days. Four days. Okay. I think the resource plan is kind of kind of neat. Received. I I can't see any big issues with the with the with the outsourcing thing. It's just working out great for us, and the machine parts are about to arrive as well. If everything here should be repaired, yes. Do we have more drones to add to this guy? We maybe have one. Okay, so twenty-two drones on this facility. This is going down in production a little bit, but I don't really mind that. Because we do have 2,000 2000 food, and it's been staying around 2,000 uh, 2, food for quite a bit of time. So I guess that's kind of like the, the, the nice balance point. And 420! Please, we're 4, 420 people. Beautiful colonists in, the, in this community. Yeah, it's not too shabby, I say. You know what we should do? Maybe we should do this. We should queue up the, the big boy batteries as well. Should we? Yeah. For the future. That's gonna be that's gonna be most needed. And how are we doing on rare metals? 82. Research complete. Martian born ability. And that's gonna be great for us because I think that it's gonna be the, the kids. Let me just go. Uh, let me just go and read it. So you guys can know that it's getting a little bit framey, especially like seeing all those wind turbines. The Martian born ability is this one, right? And that means colonists graduate faster in universities and sanatoriums uh, and have higher chance to gain perks from schools. Thumbs up. We like that. And now the Megadome is about to happen. Sana Carlson, gluten and sexy. It's a good combination. She's sexy and eats. She might, she might be like a black widow, eats the victims or <laughs> her mating partners. <laughs> Sana, welcome to, this, to the team. And two more. Let's just accept two randoms over here. Boom, dup, done. And welcome. Meet and greet. Where are you going to go? Everybody seems to be going New to this. colonists have arrived. Holy colonists crap. are departing. Sector scanned. Anomaly Shoot found. her. What is this? Holy crap, look at that. Localized terraforming biotech. New wonder, the geoscape dome. A slice of Earth on Mars. This dome has high comfort and increased the sanity of its inhabitants on every single soul. 
Elon Musk quote. It's a fixed wrapper of a planet, but we can make it, it work. Yeah. Cue it up. Cue it up, Scotty. Everybody, this is gonna this is fantastic. I just feel like we are a, a, a fully functional community with uh, with thriving people uh, inside of it. Stuff is being researched very fast. And uh, it just makes me happy. It's incredible. Now we can get all the goodies. And survive and thrive. How are we doing here? Almost filled up. Almost filled up. Has this reached? Uh, whereabouts is it? Has that reached by the way? Yes, it has. Okay, so we have 1,000 mi million more on Earth. And you know what? I don't, I don't even need the dead money for anything else besides outsourcing. More research. <laughs> 5,200 points? Let's check it. That's nuts. Okay, let's just wait until sunrise, right? And then I'm gonna say goodbyes because I feel like I've been recording for hours and hours, and I'm sure I'm gonna cut it down to 40 minutes just to don't Research get bored. Complete. And we might miss tons of amazing stuff within the video, but hopefully not. Okay. Resources are low. No, lady, nothing is low. Well, a little bit, but we will set up this dome in the next episode, and we're also gonna construct a mega dome somewhere about and check it out. You know what? Let me, let me do. It. I'm not gonna do it, but let me see here the domes, the mega dome. The most advanced and spacious dome design in the game, I guess. And how big is this guy? It's hard to tell. Okay, if I just put it down temporarily, if we just go inside. Holy crap. Okay. Like, it's it's fantastic. Like, the middle space is a basic dome. And then we have those on the outskirts. All the way around it. It's huge. Okay. Uh, we actually might, might have the dome over here in this sector. It would be kind of cool having just off here somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. One here, maybe. One uh, up here, maybe somewhere about. Who's this guy? Uh, are you outside the workforce, a child? I'm not sure why you, why you doing. One of the youngest residents of the colony. Moving to a new dome, Hersel 1. Are you, oh, are you waiting for... Who's the, who's whose child is this? Where's the parents? This is a this is a terrible idea. You can't just leave a, a kid stranded outside a dome, on on a planet on the red planet. Terrible parenting, I would say. I'm not gonna judge, but I am judging. It's terrible. Okay. Beat me, up, Scotty. <laughs> I love it. And you. Up, up, and away. I see sparkles. And there she goes, everybody. Thank you so, so much for watching today's episode. We are self-sustained and everything is just brilliant. I'm loving it. So much cash is gonna come in. So much research points is gonna come in. It's gonna be crazy. Gonna have everything in no time. See you guys, Kiralas over now. Smash the like button and have a very, very, very nice day. Bye-bye.